children are in school, teachers see them every day. There's class. They can keep an eye on them. But with remote learning, one district says it can't now get in touch with some middle and high school students. Our Greg Suskin is in Chester, where the district and sheriff's office are teaming up to check in on those kids. The last official day of school here is tomorrow, but while students have been learning at home, some have had very little or no contact with their teachers all this time. The sheriff decided to get involved to check and make sure they're okay. We rode along with school resource officer Wanda Alexander. She checked on students who haven't talked with their teachers. Deputies have been doing this all week after Sheriff Max Dorsey read an article about students at home during this pandemic not keeping in touch with their schools. The story uh, got me wondering how does that look in Chester County. It looks like 6% of middle and high school students have not been in touch with their teachers. That's more than 70 kids. The sheriff contacted Superintendent Angela Bain, who spoke with me on Zoom. If, if we have kids who haven't checked in, are they all right? Dr. Bain says they've accounted for all elementary students, but some older students haven't been heard from since March 13th, the last day they were on campus. We've been trying to do everything that we can, um, contacting parents, sending registered letters, sending emails, making calls. The parent that Deputy Alexander talked to while we were there didn't want to be on camera, but told me she'd been emailing teachers, but was overdue turning in her child's end of the year packet. Sheriff Dorsey says this isn't just about missing classwork, but checking for possible signs of neglect, things a teacher in class would often catch. They can pick up on clues, how they're dressed, uh, if they're sleepy, if they are hungry, and so those that's an extra level of protection that these students don't have right now. I asked the sheriff since they've been doing these welfare checks since earlier this week, have his deputies run into any problems? He said so far, thankfully, no. Back to you. Uh, thank you, Greg. And he also did reach out to other districts in the area trying to get their numbers. Only Rock Hill had numbers to share, and they said 803 students are considered non-responsive in remote learning. That's about 4.6% of their student population. They say they're still making attempts to try to reach all those kids. DSS says the number of reports that they've had since school closed has dropped quite a bit, 43% in Mecklenburg County compared to the same time last year. If you know a child in need of help, jot down this number, 98031 helps. It's the number to report suspected child abuse or neglect in Mecklenburg County.